This conservatory is big. It's 15,000 square feet, but probably 90% of the people, they step in and within the first 20 feet, they're doing this. And they just, they can't believe how many butterflies they're seeing, how big the room is. Your senses get full, because you have the, you feel the heat, the humidity, you see all the color, there's butterflies everywhere. You look up and there are, you know, huge trees in here and it just seems endless. Uh, this will be our 25th year. Throughout the course of the exhibit, we'll get in over 60 different uh, varieties of butterflies. The butterflies that we have in the Tropical Conservatory are all tropical, so they're not anything that you're gonna see in Michigan. They come from the tropics where it's, you know, 80, 85 degrees and super humid. So we keep it 80, 85 in here. We keep it super humid. You can see the humidity being pumped into here. That's how they, perf they perform the best. They fly when it's nice and warm in here. They come from butterfly farmers from around the world. We primarily get uh, most of our butterflies from Central America, but butterflies also come in from as far away as Malaysia and Africa. They are um, shipped in the chrysalid form, which is essentially a butterfly's way of prepackaging itself. They get delivered by FedEx. They the only thing different than what you would maybe get at home with a pair of shoes or something like that is that these will have, you know, live insects written on the outside and that's how we know it's our butterflies. Butterflies, you can kind of think of like fruit and some ripen at different times than others. So depending on when you come during the exhibit, you'll see different ones throughout the exhibit. But then we always get like Heliconius and everybody's favorite, the blue Morphos. Those are some guarantees that you see every time, no matter when you come. Morphos, those are the ones that flash that iridescent blue when they open their wings. And they're a lot of fun to hunt for because they rest with their wings closed and they're kind of camouflaged. And you'll be looking, looking, looking. And the next thing you know, they're right in front of your face, flashing that blue. So typically towards the later part of the exhibit is a time when our atlas moths emerge. And those are always a lot of fun because they are huge. They have um, one of the largest wingspans of all the moths. Glass wings we tend to get in a little bit later in the exhibit. It's a good variety no matter when you come. Tuesday nights, if that's a whole nother uh, layer of the butterfly exhibit. What the butterflies do at night is they roost and you can go through the conservatory for the flashlight um, or your phone light or whatever, and you'll actually find them hanging in the trees in just these huge clumps. Um, and it's just it's a, just a really neat thing to see if you haven't ever seen it. It's a really great thing to have for this time of year. We've been through winter, kind of waiting for spring to get here. You step in here and it's like you're in the tropics. It just feels good. We haven't felt this for months here in Michigan, so it's a really nice spot to be.